The food you're eating for dinner tonight may be linked to a local nonprofit that's working to reduce food insecurity. Our KSNT News reporter Tiffany Littler introduces us to the Food and Farm Council in this week's Community Matters. Formed just two years ago, the Food and Farm Council is a city and county appointed 15 member advisory council. They look at the gaps, needs, and challenges in the food system, and they try to come up with solutions to make it easier to access local and healthy food. This is just one of 14 blessing boxes scattered throughout Rowley County. The small outdoor food pantries are stocked with shelf stable food and personal hygiene products. The Food and Farm Council's Blessing Box initiative is just one of their many initiatives and has grown during the pandemic. Just to reach out to the community to know they're there, if you can help put something in, and if you need something, feel free to take something out. The Food and Farm Council Council works with 50 partners within the food system to focus on food insecurity, waste reduction, and education. Erica Bauer is the hospitality and management instructor at K-State. In August, she was approached by the Food and Farm Council to help cater for the Kansas student table. They provide weekly meals every Wednesday for around 450 students. The university has been a big part of my life in coordinating how do we um, do things better and the university has so many resources to connect them with the community. It just seemed like the right time and place to connect K-State with the community to better our food system. Erica says she took that as an initiative to help her students support the community. And I've heard stories from students coming by and saying, hey, thank you for doing that. You know, it really helps me out each week because then they're able to take that money that they would normally spend on that meal and put it towards a bill that they have to pay. The Food and Farm Council's new website, nourishtogether.org, shows where you can find those meals, blessing boxes, how to buy local, and even information on how to get to those locations. We knew that it was an issue before this, but when COVID hit, it just escalated. And I think that particularly with the website and some of the ways we have connected people that are already working in this area, um, I'm hoping that we will we will make a difference in, in having food available to people around the area. We have a link to the Food and Farm Council's brand new website. Just head to our website, ksnt.com, for more information. Tiffany Littler, KSNT News. Hey, and if you have a nonprofit that you think we should feature in our Community Matters segment, just like you saw here, just head to ksnt.com and let us know by using our Share It feature.